program is pairing U of H students with kids in the third ward to help them pursue careers that may have seemed out of reach. Yeah, Joe Sam learned how students in underrepresented communities are now focused on STEM. Hi, Joe. Hey guys, that's absolutely right. So a lot happening there at U of H. This is the first run of this unique and free program called STEM Rise, a partnership between U of H College of Natural Sciences and Mathematics STEM Teacher Preparation Program. Now I spoke to a few students from Jack Yates High School that gained a better understanding of STEM and are now gearing up to graduate from this summer experience this week. While many kids were out enjoying their fun in the sun this summer, important work was underway at the University of Houston, aiming to increase the representation of people of color in the STEM fields, science, technology, engineering, and math. I've always wanted to be in a medical uh, field. I know that like once I do this, and maybe in the future, um, another person like me will like, take the opportunity and maybe I can uh, reach out to others and tell them that that this is a good opportunity. Students from Jack Yates High School in the third ward like Jada Preston and Xander Harris decided they wanted to make a change in their community and enroll in this experience. Xander and Jada worked alongside UH undergraduates for a month conducting research in their campus STEM labs, received hands-on medical instruction on bodily complications and professional development on best practices in research. So for me, I always like Jada, I always wanted to help people and just give back to people. And then along with that, I had a brother who played sports. So I was like, in the event that something does happen to him, I want to be able to be there for him and make sure he's all right and make sure just anybody in my family is all right. So it was more of a, more of a family aspect for me. They want to be of service to their family and friends if an urgent need arises, such as breast cancer, hypertension, and even simple injuries during extracurricular activities. The STEM field is a very complicated one with about 17% with communities of color that take up this industry, which is why programs like this has been created to help close the opportunity gap. According to the National Science Board, 57% of black workers feel like there's little attention being directed towards adding more racial and ethnic diversity in the STEM workplace. That's why UH undergraduate Danielle Lyon feels confident that this program will break systemic concerns and a lack in diversity once people actually see themselves reflected in this industry. As an African-American, generations have been told, you know, can't trust the hospitals, things like that, can't tr trust the healthcare system, but that's the complete opposite now. We're working on things like that. We're focusing on helping people of color and making them feel safe, being consciously aware, culturally aware of the misunderstandings, and they look like you. Six students from Jack Yates High School will be the first to complete this program and ultimately inspire others in the third ward to develop a passion for growth with STEM education. They'll finish out this summer program with a certificate in STEM education. Now, U of H received a three-year grant and other donations to make this program free and possible to students in the third ward community. If you reside in the third ward and would like to get your kids involved in the summer 2023 program, I have information on how to apply on our website, HoustonLife.tv. Now, back when I was in high school, you guys, these programs were never created for somebody like me. I didn't know anything about STEM, and even if it was happening at that time, it wasn't as popular to a lot of people, so we didn't know where to apply or where to go to apply. So I'm glad that they saw the need and they took care of the need with this program now in 2022. Yeah, absolutely. A fully, you know, underrepresented area. Mm -hmm. And now these kids get the same um, introduction yep. and figure out what they like and move it forward. Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully make some money right there. Oh, well, yeah. That's <laughs> critical. And we've heard it here on our show that many of the jobs of tomorrow, approximately 50%, don't even exist today. today. Mm -hmm. So STEM is critical to prepare our young people. Joe, great story. Yeah. Thank you, guys. I'd like to see all those girls in that class, too, because we like to absolutely. see women in STEM. That's a big push as well. And how do you guys like me in my lab coat? It looked good. It, yes, right. I think Very it official. fit well. Yes, it did. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Joe. Thank you guys. Well, listen, today on Houston Life, we've been chatting about.